now this guide video is going to be a little bit different than most guide videos i'm actually going to show more of these shrines than i think most people are going to do the reason for this is it is really difficult or can be very difficult to find all of these journals so i'm just going to try to show you as much of the shrine as possible and so if you get lost you can kind of see how i got to each location i also have the table of contents for the video to kind of help you find out where to go in the video as well the next shrine that we're going to go to is the Shrine of Ancient Tears. Just like the other shrines, you're going to set sail to this location. And once you get there, you're going to jump off your ship and swim down to this, uh, this Siren Shrine. Now, this location took me a bit to find, uh, or at least the entrance. So swimming down you're going to kind of see this sunken ship and you're going to see one of those things to shoot that kind of open up this force field you're going to shoot that and you're going to swim right through Now this shrine is a little bit complicated with all of the puzzles within it. So I'm just going to kind of let it play like I've been doing so you can kind of see each area, but I'm going to try to explain kind of how to get to them. Now, when I did this, I did the journals out of order. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you, but the first journal is going to be located in this main room that you first kind of enter into. I'm going to call this again, the main room. So you're just going to fall down here. You're going to run all the way down. And then next to what looks like a, like a like a sacrifice table, you're gonna find the first journal. After reading this journal number two is going to be a bit of, this is probably one of my favorite journals to get because it's just, you jump off and you have some fun with it. But anyways, you're gonna make your way up here, climb up this ladder and just kind of follow the path until you get uh, to a lever. Now at this point, you're gonna see a lever and as you can see on um, painted on the ground is letting you know you're going to jump off this little ledge. So we're gonna pull this ladder, it's gonna activate the next area and you're just gonna make your way by just jumping off. Now this is the location of the next journal. I'm gonna show you where that is. This is journal number two. After reading that journal to open the door to kind of make your way back up to the main room, all you have to do is light these beacons. And you'll make your way back up to the main room. Now the next journal we're gonna get is actually journal number five. You're going to access this journal by stepping on these platforms, making sure that they are all kind of stepped on. They are time locked, so they will reset if you don't do it fast enough, but it's pretty easy. Just run around, step on all of them, and it's going to open the, uh, the next door. Once you walk into this newly opened room or the throne room, you're going to find the journal on top of a barrel.
once you've read the journal the next step that you have to do is actually light all of these beacons that you kind of see around so take your lantern go around light all of these beacons and actually when i was doing this i missed two so you're going to see the two that i missed actually I just walked right past them right there so uh you're just going to make your way around the room light all these beacons and it's going to open the next door As you can see, I'm kind of confused. The door should have opened, but I was missing two beacons back in that throne room. So I run back up there to see if I was missing anything. Now that is all of the beacons that you need to light. So once you do that, the door will open and this will actually take you to the next journal location. And this is journal number four. You'll walk into this area right here and right on the other side of this pillar is journal number four. Now, to get to the next area, if you kind of look around this room, you see symbols above each of these pillars and you see five or sorry, four fire markers above this door. Basically, that's just letting you know you need to light all of the beacons in this area to open the next uh, or to open that door. So the journal number three, the last journal for this shrine, you actually have to kind of do all of this to get there and uh, I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. So you have three levers. You have to light the beacons. Once you open the three levers, it opens the door, letting you make your way through. If you do all of these, uh, if you do all of these levers and you do the full path and you light all of the animals and put all the beacons on fire, it'll actually open a door with an ancient chest of tribute. So you can do that to get some cool loot. In this case, we're just going to focus on the uh, on the journals. So I'm just going to show you where the next journal or the last journal is. And it's located uh, in this room, which is the turtle room. And it'll be right here on the right on the ground. And this completes uh, this shrine's journals. And there you go. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, man, I would really appreciate a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I could really use your help. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.